Oh yeah. It's Saturday afternoon guys and we're back out on another stealth camp. An e-bike stealth camp. Oh, oh yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Right. So welcome back to the channel Mandingos. Yep, back out on another stealth camp. A coastal stealth camp. A lot of people has requested this. So basically I've just left my house and I'm making my way down the coast. Once I'm there, I'll travel about 10 miles, 12 miles, something like that down the coast. And we'll see if we can find a good, a good spot to pitch up for the night. It'll be more of the same guys, good laughs. Good whiskey. I've been given a nice bottle of Japanese whiskey, something different to review this week. And I've been kindly given this e-bike from a company called Himiwe, which I have to do a, a bit of a review on. But I'll not bang on about it too much because I know you guys are here for the for the camping and the whiskey and the good laughs. But yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> I've never rode a bike for about bloody 20 years, so I'm expecting to come off at some point. Okay then guys, I'll bring you back when we get down the coast. You know it makes total sense. Ah. Oh. So I'm down at the coast guys, I'm at Raya Beach in the city of Sunderland, unfortunately the tide is in, I think it's just starting to go back out, I was hoping it would be out and then I could, um, you can get all the way along the coast to the next beach at Seaham which is in County Durham. I mean, I might be able to get through there, but I don't want to get all the way along and then find out I cannot. So, I'm just going to make my way <clears throat> back along the road until I get to see him, and then I'll get down on that beach. I've only got about an hour left, and it'll be dark, or nearly dark. So I want to get a move on, manding goes. But yeah. Just a quick look at the bike here. It's got these awesome fat tyres. There's your battery on the side, which is fully charged. They reckon it'll do about 35 to 60 mile. If I stick around about 22 miles per hour, which is pretty good, it's enough for what I want. I think my journey of the day is only about 30 mile in total. So that should manage easy, obviously, if you're a fat lad like me and you're carrying loads of weight, you're going to use the battery a bit more. Yeah, it's got this powerful headlamp on the front, a control panel there. It's pretty basic, but that's good enough for me because I'm not very technically minded. It's easy for me to use. If I can use it, anyone can. I've also got this travel trunk, which the centre's out, which I've got all my sleeping bag and all my bits and pieces in. Anyway, guys, I'll tell you more about that later. I'll see you when I get further down the coast. Right. Sunny Seam by the sea. These fat tyres is good for on the sand.
Won't you take me to Mandingo Town? Won't you take me to Mandingo Town? Hi folks, I'm at the, the Blast Beach now, which is at the south end of Siam in County Durham. I've got about 20 minutes left and it'll be pitch black. There's some people going down there for a bit of night fishing. Yep, so I'm not going down this beach, I'm gonna ride along the cliff tops to the next beach, which is Hawthorne Beach. Some steep steps to get down, so I'm hoping they're not too icy. If they are, I might have to come back to this beach. Anyway, I'm gonna get cracking, because I wanna get there, get set up, and get a nice hot caramel cap of dingo. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. How are we? Here we go. Right guys, so I'm on the cliff top looking down at the the beach behind us. It's a bit of a secluded beach really. There's not that many people come here, but <laughs> there's people down there now, unbelievable. I'm looking down and I can see all the torches on. So it's obvious they're looking for sea glass. There's a lot of people do that around these parts. I can't imagine they're going to be hanging around for long because it's starting to get really cold now. So I've walked down so far, the steps, and it's really dangerous, like it's really icy. They're like short, steep steps. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge with the e-bike because it weighs quite a bit with the big battery on it. So I'm just gonna take my time. And when I get down there, before I put my tent up, I'll probably just sit around, make a coffee, wait for them people to leave, trying to be stealthy. You know, it's not a stealth camp as in hiding behind a building, but I'm being stealthy. I'm arriving late, like now it's dark, and I'll try and get away in the morning, just as it's getting light, before any early dog walkers turn up. Right, folks, I'm gonna try and get down here without breaking my neck. If I get so far down and I feel it's too dangerous, I'm gonna just come back up and go back along the other beach. See you in a minute. <laughs> right guys, I'm just making my way back along near the beach. It was stupid of us really to even attempt that. I, sh I went against my own judgment. I knew it was going to be... Oh, get up here. Oh, I knew it was going to be dodgy. <laughs> I took about three steps down and the bike just went. Luckily I grabbed onto it, so the bike didn't get ruined, didn't get broke, but it dragged me down about five steps. I don't know how I managed to stop, I was just digging my feet in the ground, but am I? I'm, I'm not injured or anything, but it was stupid really. I, I could have wrecked the bike, I could have injured myself, and it's, it's not worth it really, just for the sake of trying to make a good video. I mean, it's still gonna be a good video. <laughs> you know what makes sense it is, guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna head back along the other beach. I should be there in about 10 minutes. See you when I get there. Oh yeah. So this is the beach I'm gonna be going down onto, guys. The Blast Beach. There should be plenty room to get me tent up. Come on then, let's get down and get set up. So we're down on the coast, guys. I'm guessing people's been camping here before. Because that looks like the leftover of a fire pit someone's made. It's hard to tell where there's going to be a decent spot because of all the snow. So I'm going to get me pegs, eh, pegs. <laughs> I'm going to get me pegs out my bag and see if I can get them in the ground and then pick a spot. Should be able to hear the sea there, guys. Once I'm set up, we'll go down to the water's edge 
and I'll start talking shite as usual. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Right, how are then? Let's get a... Let's find a pitch so I can get set up and get a coffee on. Right. Right guys, there's my little tent up. It's not pretty. I haven't got it stretched out as good as I would like it. The pegs won't go in because the ground's too frozen. Just like my fingers. So, mandingos. I'm going to get in, quickly get my gear set up and get a coffee on. It is absolutely Baltic here by the edge of the North Sea. So I've got all my gear, well most of my gear guys, packed in this travel trunk that Himiwea also sent us. In that side I've got my four season sleeping bag. Here around this side I've got my foil mat, my air bed, um, a couple of down jackets, my down trousers and slippers, um, my pillar, a couple of other bits and pieces I can't remember. In the top there I've got my cans of Thatcher cider and my food. Get quite a bit in, you just got to be careful how you pack. Right, let's get all this gear set up. Right folks, let's have a look at my little setup. I've got the bike there, the Himiwea e-bike, parked up outside the tent. Should be safe, should be no one down there later on. Right, let's have a look inside. I need to get another jacket on in a minute. But there you go, the foil mat's down. I've got the UL80 air mat, which is, it's not the warmest mat, but I've had to bring this one because it, it's in a little bag and it was all about space. It packed into my bag, just nice. I've got my four season OEX 900 sleeping bag. And there's my pillar there. I've got a couple of down jackets down there. All the gear to keep us warm, which I'm going to put on soon. Right, food and drinks, guys. Snackaroonies. I've got some chorizo again. Some German salami. I've got some mini savoury eggs. Biscuits. Four pork pies. I've got four coffees there, which I'm going to have one of them in a winnet. For my main meal, I've got some egg fried lice. Not Uncle Bensky. I messaged him. Um, sorry, I phoned him last night and their lass answered. She said he'd gone to Benedon for four nights with the lads. Uncle Bensky didn't even let us know. So I've had to go and buy me own, which was only a pound in Morrison's. So Uncle Bensky, I'll be having a word with you when you get back, mate, for not letting us know. Anyway. <laughs> The usual me talking crap. Right, I've got egg fried lice, a tin of princess chicken curry, and I'm going to chuck some king prawns in there as well. That's a nice hot meal I'll be having later on. The drinks. Four cans of Thatcher's gold cider, back on the Thatcher's. And I've got a nice bottle there. I've only bought half a bottle of Japanese waski. Ten Jaku Japanese waski. Kindly given to me from a legend by the name of Jason Whale. So Jason, thanks very much for that mate. I will enjoy that and do a good, world famous review later on. Right guys, I'm gonna climb in now and get a coffee on. Oh, you better believe I am. Lovely. Nice hot caramel cappadingo, guys. Oh. 
I had a bit of a panic on there. At first, when I was trying to set the tent up, when I wasn't recording, I just couldn't get the pegs on the ground anywhere. I was thinking, Jesus, am I going to be able to get the tent up? But I got a rock, I've bashed them in. They've only went in about halfway. But luckily, there's no wind up tonight. So hopefully the wind doesn't pick up during the night because I haven't got it pegged in as good as I would like. I'm having to drink out this because I didn't even have room for my little cup that I normally bring, my little plastic cup. I'd already stuffed that many things into my bags and into the my little haversack here and in that travel trunk thing on the bike. I couldn't get any more things in. So this will have to do, guys. So while I'm sitting drinking this, I might as well answer a little quick question. And here's just a quick one. Loads of people have been asking. I'm going to sneeze, hold on. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, loads of people have been asking. When is little Mick, the little man Dingo, when's he back out? Well, you know that little Mick only comes out now and again. If you look back through the videos, you'll see he only comes out once a month. Sometimes he might not come out for two or three months. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is, it's, it's great when little Mick is out. I love it, I love when little Mick's out. He's always a good laugh, he likes a good drink. And he can keep up with me, in fact, he can drink me under the table. Anyway, so the answer to the question is guys, little Mick will be out on the next video. Yep, we're gonna try and get out the back end of next week. And we'll get a video made. And as you know, I always put the videos out on a Sunday, on Christmas Day Sunday. So little Mick will be joining me on the Christmas Day video. Should be a good one. Remember to tune in for that, guys. There you go. That's answered the first question. Little Mick will be back out next week and he'll be on the next video. Oh, you better believe he will, Mandingos. Right. Right folks, I'm bursting for a, a slash garden. So while I'm out there, while I'm outside, we might as well take a walk down to the edge of the sea. We'll have a little mooch about. I'll take my torch down as well so you can see. There's no point going down if you're just seeing darkness. Anyway, safety first guys. I'm gonna get a nice shot of this Japanese waski. Warm the old Chester Rooney up. You know what makes sense. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm not going to tell you anything about it yet. You'll have to stick around for the world famous Waski review, guys. You know what I'm talking about. Mmm. Yeah, what I will say is, it's not harsh or anything, it's going down nice. Mm. I'm surprised how nice it is. I've never had a Japanese waski before. Right, how are them? Let's get out. Ooh. I feel it's going to be cold already. Here we go. Last thing I wanted there was to get my feet wet and freezing. Jeez, guys. I 
just kind of thatches gold. Lovely jubbly. Well, I might as well answer another question while I'm sitting chilling, having a candingo, mandingos. The question is, will I ever travel to other places in the country? I live in the northeast of England. People are asking, will I travel to Wales or down on the south coast or even abroad? Someone was asking, would I go to America or Australia to do stealth camping? I probably won't because with the stealth camping, there's just endless amounts of ideas round about where you live. Do you know what I mean? I've been doing all my stealth camps in the city of Sunderland or in the town of Siam, which is right next to Sunderland. That's where I'm from, Siam, but I live in Sunderland. And there's still hundreds and hundreds of places I can stealth camp in them two towns. What I will do is though, just you know, just so I'm not in the, the same town and city all the time, I will go off, but just around the northeast of England where I live. So I'll probably do some stealth camps like in South Shales or Newcastle, Hartlepool, Durham, you know, just different different towns and different cities in the northeast of England. If any of you Mandingos living in the northeast have got some good ideas, let me know. I'll put them on my little list. I I do travel out the northeast to go camping. When me and young Chris and little Mick sometimes and, and the older Chris when he comes out. When we go wild camping, nine times out of ten, we always go over the Lake District, which is just my favourite place in the world. So I do travel out the northeast. We'll go over there and then we're wild camping, you know, on top of mountain tops and beautiful valleys and by the side of lakes. It's absolutely fantastic. But this stealth camping, the, the options is endless. So I'll probably just stick to the northeast of England. Ah, hope that's answered that question, guys, because there's quite a few people ask that. If I can think of another question, I've never wrote any down. If I can think of another one tonight, I'll answer another question later on. I think I'm going to have some more snackaroonies, maybe some pork pie, and then some biscuits. Oh, yes. This is the life, guys. Yes, you better believe it is. Right. Just climbed in the sleeping bag, guys. Warm up a bit. My toes were a bit cold. Ah, this sleeping bag. OEX 900 down sleeping bag is really warm. I know there's other sleeping bags out there that cost a lot more money and they will be a lot better. But this is still a really good sleeping bag for the price it costs. I love it anyway, does the job for me. So I'm just warming up. I'm having a couple of chest warmers, warm the old cockaroonies up. Oh. <laughs> I love this man, it's class. I'd rather do this, honestly. I know I've said this before in previous videos. I'd rather do this all day long than be in a pub or a nightclub. I love it. 
people probably think I'm a weirdo, you know, sitting by myself. <laughs> but it's great, man. It's great. It's good for the mind. Relaxes you. Just get you all chilled out and some people this would just be hell on earth for some people but for me it's fantastic anyway while i'm sitting having one of these i just want to say it last week uh, over just over a week ago on the friday it's saturday now i started my little uh, merch shop selling hoodies t-shirts um mugs you know for drinking your coffee with and all that and it's it's gone really well it's it's done well thank you to everyone that's bought from the merch shop if anyone is interested in that i will leave a link in the comment section of this video and also in the description so if you click that link that'll take you through to the merch shop and i want to say a massive thank you to jason who runs the company jb design he was absolutely unbelievable in helping me set the shop up i didn't have a clue what i was doing he sent me all the designs i said you know oh, i like that one that one i'm not too keen on can you change it there was no problem at all anything i asked like that he changed the design he sent us a new idea or i might have wanted like in a different color or something he couldn't do enough for us he was absolutely fantastic but jason mate thank you so much for helping me with that i couldn't have done it without you um, if anyone is interested in setting merch up for their YouTube channel, even if you're just wanting to design, you don't have to have a YouTube channel. If you just want to design some T-shirts, you want some ideas, I'll leave a link in the description as well for JB Design. The guy's called Jason. He's a, he's a great guy. Honestly, he kind of do enough for you. I'll leave a link for his company and his prices are really, really good. You know, I was expecting to pay a lot more for his designs because... He, sends, he sent us the files over and then I uploaded them onto the website that designs the t-shirts and all that. But he'll help you. He'll tell you what you need to do. He, he guided me through everything. Anyway, I'll have another shot of this. Thanks to everyone who's bought some merch. I'll leave a link in the description, in the comments section, if anyone wants some. And I'll leave a link for the company, JB Design, who is Jason. He's top notch. There you go. I want to get that in now, but I have too many drinks and I forget to see it. That's my feet. Absolutely soaking wet. Oh. I'll have to go in, get my dry socks on and my down slippers. Look at that. Well, that's what you get, guys, for being an idiot. Right then guys, come on, let's get back indoors and get warmed up. Cheers man, dingoes. That's my fourth and final can dingo for the night, man dingoes. After this, I'm going to be getting on the old Japanesey waski. There's still plenty left, so I can have a few shots before I do the world famous waski review. Oh. Hi, I've just been lying there, chilling out for like an hour. Oh. Just replying and reading a few comments on me. YouTube and on Instagram I'm just lying in silence listening to the sound of the waves coming in tremendous absolutely loving it mind that bike a Hemiway bike I haven't been at the bike since I was like 
God, before I was even 20, when I was a teenager. So I was a bit worried all week about going out on it, like, because honestly, I haven't rode a pedal bike, apart from like a little tiny little go, I haven't been out on a proper good ride on a bike for like over 20 years. But it was so easy to use. The gears were easy, there was like seven speed transmission. Just so easy, clicking up, clicking down. I was thinking, am I, am I gonna do the gears wrong and mess the bike up? But no, it was so easy. And with having them fat tires on, it was good for like on-road and off-road, getting down on the sand, it just went along. Struggled a little bit more going over the pebbles. Like, you know, like over the stones and the pebbles on the beach, but um, across the sand, fantastic. And um, obviously there's a bit of weight on the bike because it's got a big battery on, but you've got to have that on an e-bike, haven't you? So, the, so you get miles and miles of, you know, you get loads of hours out riding on it. But I, I mean, the cost of the bike, I was looking, the UK price is £1,699, which is a lot of money. I mean, I know that's a lot of money. That would be out my price range. I can't afford shit like that. But I've been looking at other e-bikes of similar standard. They're like three, four, five thousand pounds. So for what it costs, if you are looking for e-bike, that is for a high performance bike, it's, um, it's a really good price. Fortunately, I got offered to keep this bike. I'll give you no bullshit on the Blood Outdoor Show. I'll be upfront and I'll be honest with you. I know I've said before, I'll keep this channel low budget, you know, with me tents and me camping equipment. And I always I buy me food from Aldi's most of the time, I'm looking for the bargains. But I can't turn down something like that. I've got a son that'll be going to college in a year's time, so. If I can do a, a good review on a quality bike like that and keep it, I can give that bike to my son who can go to college on that bike where I wouldn't be able to afford to buy him a bike like that. But my son, he'll be absolutely over the moon with that. I mean, my son's got autism, he's autistic. So when he gets something and he likes it, he really looks after it and he will really love that bike. So I couldn't turn that down. Just in case anyone's thinking, oh, you're taking free stuff and that, you know. I get offered loads of free stuff. I got offered um, off this company called Nightcat. I've seen other YouTubers taking stuff off them, like uh, tents and hammocks. I turned them down, I wasn't bothered about stuff. And there's other company being in touch with us called uh, Unigear. Them's offering us tent, sleeping bag, um, sleep mat. I've told them I'm not interested. I don't want their care. I'm not just going to take stuff just to be greedy and just take stuff for the sake of it. Oh, yeah, I'll have it. I'll have free stuff. Do you know what I mean? I don't want free stuff just for the sake of it. But if I can get something that's going to benefit the channel, and obviously I can give it to my son, he'll, he'll love it. Because I'll use the bike again. Maybe it's another two or three times. I'll do, a, I'll do a camping video with it. If it's something worthwhile for the channel, I'll take it. But, um, hi. <laughs> Once again, I'm talking shite. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish this can. I'm going to sit and chill and relax by myself without recording, have a few waskies, and then we'll do the review. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about.
yeah. You know what time these mandingos. Waski time. And this is what we've got this week. Ten Jacku. I think that's how you say it. Ten Jacku. Japanese Waski. The old famous cup. Let's get it in there. Stick that in my boot. Right. Let's get the old bakeroon in it. That's got a really nice, fresh smell about it. Dare I say the faintest suggestion of smoke. Just a tiny bit. Swirl all around there, big guys. Yep. I knew there was a fruity thing there, but it's pears. There's a definite smell of pears in that, guys. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Right. Mm hmm. Yep, I can smell the pears. And I can also taste it in the first sip. The trick is not to just gulp it, keep it in your mouth, enjoy the taste. So a lot of people think whiskies all taste the same, but they don't. Now that is going down really smooth. It's got a nice buttery feel into it. A little bit of a taste of a, like a nice buttery, like a nice thick custard taste going down there, mandingos. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, a little bit oaky spice, which a lot of whiskies have, because they get kept in the, the oak barrels and that, you know. But that has got a nice oaky spice kick to it. Not too much, just the right amount. But it's surprisingly nice. Japanese whiskey, I was thinking, hmm. Will it be any good? But well, it is, it's, it's decent. Mm. Now when the fourth or fifth is there, I'm getting like a floral, a definite floral aftertaste. Like, mm, like elderflowers. Mm. Like a definite floral elderflower taste. But it's nice. It's really nice. Um, I'm going to give that 10 Jacku Japanese Waski. I'm going to give it Seven out of ten. Now I know the last two whiskey reviews I did, I think I've done a nine point six and nine point five. So don't think at all that a seven out of ten isn't a good score. So uh, it's still it's really really nice. Just the last two I had, I absolutely love them, but that is still really good, and I would definitely buy that. And I would advise anyone to buy it. And I'm guessing if that's nice, the other Japanese whiskies are going to be good. I'll have to try some more. But yeah, 7 out of 10 for that, guys. Absolutely top stuff. Very good. Very, very good. Mm. 
Now I know a lot of people, well not a lot of people, a few people have bought me whiskies and you're probably wondering when am I going to do a review on your whiskey? Don't worry guys, I've got a few there to do and I'm doing them in the order that people have bought us them, if you know what I mean. So I will get round to drinking and re reviewing your whiskey very soon so anyone that has bought us some whiskey I thank you so much <laughs> I will get red red soon I know what it's getting better the more I taste it I'm getting more used to it anyway guys that's the end of this week's whiskey review you know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. This is serious stealth camping. Lights. Right folks, I've just put the tin of Princess Chicken Curry in the old pansexual. The old pansexual. Let's get that on there. Give that a couple of minutes. So it starts bubbling away and we'll get the King Prawn Roonies in. That's the King Prawns popped in there guys. Oh yes. This is going to be a meal fit for a Mandingo. Love King Prawns me. Yeah. We'll give that a minute. And we'll get the egg fried lice chucked in. Rice. Time for the rice, guys. Get that in. Give it a mix around. I'll be able to mix it a bit better when I put the camera down and I've got two hands so I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll bring you back in a second right folks let's have a look oh yes look at that lovely jubbly chicken and king prawn curry Mm. Right, time to get stuck into it. Two rice. Right, guys. Mm. King prawn and chicken curry with egg fry lice. Just what I needed. A lovely hot meal in a cold tent. That is absolutely tremendous. Basically cooked in three minutes as well, you know. Oh. Better than any camping meal. By that I mean them like Wayfarers camping meals you buy and other brands similar where you're paying like five pound, seven or eight pound for a tiny bit of food in a packet. 
yeah them are lighter and you're carrying a bit more weight bringing a a tin of chicken curry and then your prawns and your, and your pot of rice if you don't mind carrying the weight this is a billion times better look at that man I've got chicken king prawns and lice all on there mmm Unbelievable. Well, my pal dingoes. While I'm sitting enjoying this, I might as well take this time to say a massive, ginormous thank you. Hmm. To everyone who has supported the Blot Outdoor Show this last week. Honestly, I've said it before and I'll see it again. If it wasn't for you guys, I couldn't get out every week making a video. It's finding the time as well with us working full time in the factory and then doing the me cleaning job on the side and obviously the cost of everything, getting out every week buying the food and the drink and this, that and the other. But you guys being so kind to me makes it possible for me to make this video every week, which I hope you're enjoying. There's your names down there, guys. Down there. And down there. Honestly some absolutely really kind people thank you so much it is really appreciated <laughs> I say the same thing over and over again but I don't know how else to say it mm. that is magic anyway cheers guys thank you very much for the support You're an absolute bunch of legends, each and every one of you. Cheers. Thank you very much. I'm now going to sit and enjoy the rest of this meal. Wow. Tremendous. <coughs> Soon as I finish this, and I've got this nice hot meal in my body, which will have warmed me right up. I'm going to get straight in the sleeping bag, zip right up, and get some sleep. Getting the nice hot meal, and just before I go in, it's going to keep my body core warm. Keep me warm through the night. You know it makes sense. So, man, dingoes. I'll see you first thing in the morning at coffee time. Good night. Love you all. Right. Good morning, man dingoes. It's five past eight. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. <coughs> I was really warm all night. Once I got in this sleeping bag and got zipped all the way up and got in, I was warm all night. But <laughs> I'm like half out the bag now and I can feel the cold already. So... I think it's time to get a quick slash Gordon and start and pack my gear away. 
I haven't heard anyone around yet with the dogs, but it won't be long and there'll be people down here. So if I'm quick, I can be packed up and gone in half an hour. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll bring you guys back in a second. Oh, you better believe I will. Right guys, that's all me bits and pieces bagged up. Down there. I just need to spend a bit of time now and get them all loaded into this travel trunk. You couldn't see last night because it was already dark when I got here. So we'll have a little look down at the sea. Lovely fresh morning. Makes you feel alive, guys. Can't beat it. Just want to get packed up now and get away. Get home as quick as I can and get a nice hot bath. Right, so I'm going to finish off packing my gear now. Get everything packed into the travel trunk. Just want to get home as quick as I can. Get a nice hot bath and a nice hot drink. I can't even be bothered to make a coffee now. I just want to get home and um, start editing the video for you guys to watch tonight. The bike, I've just checked, the battery is still three quarters full, so that's fantastic. I know that's going to get me home. It's been really good, loved it. I'll definitely use this again on another camping trip. So thank you to the guys at Himiwe for giving me this bike really appreciate it um, right <laughs> How we, let's get packed away so that's me all packed away guys I've got my litter in the carrier bag there some bits and pieces in my little rucksack all loaded in the travel trunk you can see there where the tent was No rubbish left around, so as usual guys, I've left no trace, apart from that. Right then, Ooh, starting to get a bit chilly now, I've been out the tent for a while, so I'm going to get going, get on this bike and be on my merry way. Oh yeah! Right folks, that's the end of this video, hope you've enjoyed it, as usual I've had a great time, it was nice and warm in my sleeping bag, so no complaints there, if you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, I do read every one, next week I'll be out with a little mandingo, little mick, so that video will be going out on Christmas Day. Remember to tune in for that one, guys. That's about it, Mandingos. See you later. See you next week. Right. Oh, uh, I'm